So just to be consistent, um, and it's kind of the middle of the season, we wanted to go with the same team that we went with last year. So Alex led off, passed it to Hampton, to me, and then Luke finished. Um, we really had a goal this weekend, like we had something to prove. It was our first time running the DMR this year, but we really wanted to show um, everyone watching what we're all about. So we really had this attitude uh, going in that was like, hey, we're going to win this and we're going to run something really fast and we're going to make other schools watch out for us. So that was our attitude going into it. And you could really see that in everyone's leg. I mean, Alex in the 1200 let it off. Um, he went right to the front and was leading for most of the race. Um, he passed it off to Hampton and Hampton went for it. He even tried to push someone out of the way. It didn't really work out that well. Um, but he was just so aggressive and then uh, when I got the baton I was in fourth and I just wanted to set Luke up as best as possible um, and I really just tried to race catching each person um, that was my goal after I caught someone I was like let me get the next one after I caught him I said let me get the next one and then I pass it off to Luke in first um, in a perfect position just to let him do the rest let him do his thing and he brought it home and we finished first yeah, so we know that uh, from experience, we know what it's like to go to a national championship, but we also know what it's like to get into a national championship, and it's super competitive. Um, we did the same race at the same time last year. I think we hit a similar time. We might have been a second or two faster this year than we were last year, but that time would not have got us into nationals. So we know that um, we, have to, we might have to run this again, and we're prepared to run this again to run a faster time to get into nationals because it's such a competitive um, division and this time even though it was provisionally qualifying and we thought we were in great um, might not make it so we're prepared to run it again. Uh, I kind of had to take it out not many people wanted to go with me the first 800 meters that's always kind of aggravating because you're trying to run a fast time especially with us trying to run a national qualifying time I knew I wanted to be around that 302 mark because that's what I'd run last year and so that was really kind of my goal going into this year to be able to at least do what I'd done before. Um, no one really went with me, that was kind of aggravating, but I felt that although this maybe kind of led to me having a, a little bit slower of a uh, split than I had wanted, it kind of set us up to have a really good back three legs. Like our Hampton Boyd really knows how to read a 1200 meter pace and get a really solid handoff, which for the DMR and, and realize in general, that 1,200 to 400 meter leg trade-off, the biggest, hardest trade-off in all of track in my mind, because the paces that each person wants to go is so different. And so I am always amazed at how good he is at reading that, and we always have a really fluid handoff. So, you know, once I handed off to him, I was feeling pretty good because we had a really clean transition. We left off in a he went and got in one place, handed off to Virk, Virk got two places, and then Luke, who's just an absolute strength machine, was able to just bring it home and able to get us uh, a New England championship, which is a pretty cool feeling, especially when you can say that you got a national qualifier out of it too. I think what, something I said like a lot last year is whenever you're stepping on the line for a DMR, the intention is always there because of the kind of history that Stonehill has with the distance from the relay. Like we're almost always really solid and this is always a relay that we're trying to get to a national championship. Um, with it being senior year, it definitely is even elevated a little bit more because this is, this is probably my last chance to get to that stage. Um, obviously I have the goal in mind of getting there individually in the mile and outdoors, maybe the 15 and indoors. That's a lot harder um, to get and so with this being my last chance to kind of get to that national championship level, it's that much more important. And when we get there, it's going to be that much more important that we really knock one out of the park like we did last year. Um, fifth place finish was awesome. I know Virk and Luke are looking to go and beat that, and I know we can. Um, it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be a really cool experience to try and go there and get Top three, that would be, that'd be unreal to me, to be top three DMR in the nation right now. Uh, now that we have that DMR in the bag, we got a 953, which will probably get us into the national championship. We can kind of go back to our individual events and focus on scoring points for any 10. Um, at the end of the day, we each got to 
carry our own weight in our own individual events, and we can't so solely focus on this DMR. Uh, our DMR will hopefully get us some points at any 10. I would assume it will. But I'm in the mile, Virk in the 8, Luke in the mile, Hampton in the 400. Each, each of us are going to have to go into our indiv individual events and really start focusing on that now that we have uh, this time in the bag for a national championship.